Welcome back fellow space engineers to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about cargo management and sorters. So stick around for all the juicy details starting now. All right so when it comes to conveyors and cargo containers and sorters and all of that good stuff those of us on PC have it kind of easy right? We can use script that will sort our cargoes for us like Izzy's inventory manager or we can use sorters but console players sadly cannot use scripts they're locked down so they have to stick with the in-game components and some people just don't know what they are and other people just don't know how to use them and this tutorial is going to help everybody including PC players because not all PC players have a PC capable of running scripts and this heavy game on PC. So, how do we get started? Well, I've got a simple version right here set up and I'm gonna go through the components real quick. We have four cargo containers, one in each corner across this setup right here. We have an assembler and a refinery and then we have a two conveyor sorters. This is my dump box. This is kind of my holding box. This is a holding box. And this is my components box. And then I have two sorters. This sorter right here will allow stones, ingots, and ores to pass through. And this sorter will allow components to pass through. But there's some caveats. There's some, some wrinkles that we've got to talk about. If I come over here and I look in this container right here, you'll see I have some components in here. I have some ingots and I have some ores. And if we come over here to this sorter, we open up the control panel, you'll see that for the most part, it looks just like all the other stuff in the game that's listed in your control panel, right? But there are some differences. Let's start down here with the drain off function. The drain off function allows you to move stuff from container to container and to production facility to production facility. In the sense that if you have this turned off, items will stay in a container until they are needed. All right? So the best example I can show of this is starting here, we have some ingots in here, right? We got some iron, nickel, and cobalt ingots. And if I want to put steel plates and metal grids into production, then it will pull from this box, just like it always has, because our order allows for the passage of ingots however if I don't want those ingots to just sit in this box until they're needed then I need to turn on the drain all function on this sorter so that it pulls all of these items from whatever container is downstream or I'm sorry uh, yeah downstream of it and this would be the upstream side. Now let's talk about the sorter real quick. You'll see that there's an arrow on it. This arrow indicates direction, right? So everything that this sorter is going to move will move in this direction. And if we come down here, we've talked about the drain all function. Now let's talk about the filter modes. There are two filter modes. One is whitelist, one is blacklist. The whitelist allows the blacklist blocks. It is almost always better to use whitelist over blacklist. It depends. There are situations where blacklist is better, but for almost all situations, whitelist is better. If we scroll down right here, there's this whole list of filters. And this list contains five category groups, right? And those category groups are noted because they have the asterisks, so you have ammo, components, hand tools, ingots, and ores. And then you have a list of everything in the game. 
right? And this is where sometimes blacklist is better than whitelist. If you want a box that contains all of your components, then you whitelist. But if you want a box that you push a bunch of stuff to, right, like just arbitrary stuff, maybe plain cola, you know, and whatever else, right? You, you, you the plushies, right? These are kind of things that you don't use on a everyday type of adventure in space engineers. Maybe you want all that stuff pushed to maybe, you know, you call it the junk container. Then that's where a blacklist might uh, be more useful because you can blacklist everything except for that kind of off stuff like the plushie and plain cola, right? So you block everything out except for those two items. Be careful what you set it to, though. You know, pay attention to it. The next thing when it comes to cargo management is naming. Naming, 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 and naming. Because if you have something in the system that's not working correctly, you need to know where it's coming from. And the idea of having a bunch of sorters, you know, like if you look at these warfare batteries, you got batteries one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, which one is which? You placed them down when you first started building your base. You don't know. They're just listed one, two, three, four, five, six. The same thing is true with cargo containers and sorters. Every time you place one down, it's just given a new number. So make sure that you're naming these with what they're doing and what their purpose is. And it will make your life a whole lot easier in the cargo management. In our case, we have a component sorter. We have a components cargo, a dump container, a dump overflow container, an ore and stone sorter and in this case also ingots so let's uh let's throw and ingots in here All right and then we have a ore and stone cargo container so let's come over here and in the production the first thing i want to do is i want to not be doing that and in the control panel here i'm going to turn the refinery off all right, now, even though I have a drain all turned on, or well, let's see, we have the drain all turned off. We're gonna turn this block on and it allows for the pass through of stones, ingots, and ores, as we said before. But if we come in here, we'll see everything is still sitting in this box. That's where the drain all function comes in. You want it to drain all that stuff out of the box. You don't want this box just sitting here holding crap. This is your dump box. You're a busy individual. You need your production facilities running while you're killing. And, well, mining and grinding and welding. And you don't have time to be sitting here going through all of this stuff. So you just want to bring your stuff in. You want to dump it and you want it to go to the production facilities. Drain all is the key. We're going to come over here. We're going to turn drain all on. And if we go back. You also notice that all of our components are still in here but everything else has eventually moved on now that we've got everything moved over to this box right here right, if we open up this box we can see all of our ingots are over here and if we look at our refinery all of our stone and ores is in here if we turn on our refinery it's going to go right to work as expected and then it will dump all of its ingots and stuff into this ingot cargo once its own cargo starts to get filled but not before it's always going to fill its own cargo first same thing with the assembler it will always fill its own cargo first unless and let's go down here to our other conveyor sorter we open this one up we also have drain all turned on on it and we're filtering for all components so no matter what happens here at the assembler as the components are built it's going to be pulled out of the assembler and sent straight to this box where they will be available for you to use so let's come over here and let's build some steel plates 
Let's build like a thousand. We'll do a thousand metal grid. All right? We've run into a problem. It says that we don't have the ores and ingots. And if we look, we do not. They're stuck in this cargo container right here. And for whatever reason, the assembler is not taken. So let's throw those in there. And we are a little light on... Well, the assembler really wasn't taking them because we didn't have any iron. Right? So we're going to have to wait till we get some iron ore like normal. But once they're built, you can see that it pushed it immediately down to here. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments concerning what I've talked about today or just in general SE questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.